Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly relationship reading for and Leo. How are you guys? Hope all's well. Leo. All right, I'm just grounding myself here a moment. Leo. Oops, Leo. You got a lot of cards. This one wanted to come out first. Doing it together. Three of coins. Nice. I see judgment heeding the call. So some sort of decision you're going to make with somebody. Could be your partner. Okay, but you are doing it together. Seven of Swords, straightening the record. So something is getting straightened up, straightened out, setting the record straight to do with. Now this could be a reconciliation. Okay. And we have the Fool, Free Spirit. You could be dealing with an Aries. Yeah, so it has to do with somebody here who, it's a person who often takes risks. <laughs> Someone um, living in the moment, definitely. So I do feel it could be yourself too, but I feel there's something that's going to get straightened up or straightened out here. Some sort of decision. You're going to do it together though. There you are, King of Wands. I see the Moon. Yeah, subconscious energy. So I feel there's something here, maybe going within. Yeah, so I feel that, you, you know, you could be in an unpredictable energy right now. Okay, feeling a little unpredictable, feeling a little confused. Okay, to do with something here. Resourceful creator. So you're trying to create something. Now, this could be yourself just, you know, figuring something out. Seven of Swords is, but I see two people doing it together heeding the call now this could be a reconciliation so but it's also an energy of someone making two people making a decision straightening the record because the negative is uh not what it seems so something may be not what it seems maybe you're feeling a little confused about something but i do feel like you have the resources you have everything you need to manifest what you want now, I do see the autumn equinox, prepare for change, timing a few months. So there's some kind of change uh, coming up in a couple of months here. Okay, now, if this is somebody ready to communicate, to share their innermost self. Because someone here is, uh, something is feeling unpredictable. <laughs> okay, but I feel it's something positive going to come out of this. Yeah, three of wands. So I do see... Uh, manifesting your dreams so you're manifesting your dreams here so i feel this is going to happen in the fall okay so something right now is unpredictable because someone here is feeling a little bit confused or something that needs to be straightened up there needs to be some clarity to do with the decision but i feel like i say doing it together cooperating compromising compatibility so yeah interesting now if 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 you are if there's if you're a feminine energy here it's still pretty much the same but you can see this person here who could be an aries leo or sag uh, this person is a little unpredictable right now okay yeah so i do see uh so someone kind of slowing down a little bit feeling a little overwhelmed eight of wands someone's sl slowing down a little okay Things may be moving too fast. Someone's feeling overwhelmed. So there's going to be a decision, something to do with the timing. Someone's preparing. I feel this is someone who actually has everything they need. I, I feel it's two people here who are either manifesting reconciliation or you're um, just manifesting some kind of communication. But something, I feel someone needs to slow down a little bit. Someone, you know, is just kind of slowing down a little. Doesn't mean they're going anywhere because I do see manifesting. They're still manifesting. So there's something, some kind of news worth waiting for here. If you're waiting for this person, yeah, right now they're a little unpredictable, but they need to slow down. Okay, and maybe... Uh, if there is an Aries here, how can I say, some of you might be dealing with someone where they, they know they need to slow down. And sometimes the person who comes in too fast, too strong, and then they get overwhelmed. So, yeah. So I see two of wands charting the course. So this is a, about things coming into alignment here. Now, some of you may have had uh, two people going their separate ways, but I actually feel, like I say, I feel, you know, it's like you're, you're manifesting something here, your dream, something you're waiting for. And it's also about this path, a life path with this person, I feel. Yeah, I see an uncluttered life. And, you know, there could be just uncluttering, clearing things up and clearing things out, slowing down a little bit. Someone's feeling overwhelmed. So... I'm going to pull out one more card. I didn't mean to pull out so many cards, but it was just flowing. So, 
One more card for Leo. What does Leo need to know? Yeah, a new perspective, yeah. So I feel come fall, there'll be a whole new perspective. It's about uncluttering. Maybe things are just cluttery, things are confusing. Uh, someone here think it's just an unpredictable kind of energy where someone here I feel is trying to manifest something. If if you are manifesting a king of wands, like I say, they're they maybe it's yourself needing to slow down, but like I say, they're slowing down. Okay, they're just kind of going within with the moon. They're trying to trust their intuition, their inner knowing. But like I say, they're kind of, you know, this subconscious energy. Yeah, I, I feel like you're just manifesting each other. I mean, I see communication. Someone could be clearing things up, clearing things out of their life, making way uh, to um, come your way for two people to come together, manifesting this. See, see, someone's taking a pause, taking a pause, looking at things from a whole different perspective. So we'll see what that's all about. I'm going to pull out another deck. I just want to see what this... Uh, King of Wands is. What is this person's intentions? The stars, yeah. So this it's energy of, of slowing down. Something's not aligning right now. now. This is someone who's, you know, their hopes and dreams, everything they could ever want. But like I say, there's something that's moving too fast. It could be them, you know, like I say, and it could be the other person <laughs> who needs, could be just an energy of waiting for fall for things to slow down. I just feel like it's a really busy time right now. Um, yeah, someone's going to initiate a conversation. So someone's initiating some kind of conversation. Okay, so that's what it is. This is energy of someone manifesting that conversation, initiating it. Yeah, Eight of Swords. Yeah, doing the same thing over and over again with the same results. Moving too fast, feeling overwhelmed. Somebody's in their head. Someone's in their head. They feel kind of trapped right now. Now, if this is a, a relationship that's already committed, someone's feeling a little bit trapped. Okay, I feel, I don't know whether it's just too busy, too much happening, feeling overwhelmed, or this person just feels like, yeah, I, I mean, it's just a, a rinse and repeat, overwhelming, all work, no play is what I feel, it's time to play, come fall, okay, I actually feel this is something that's going to be okay, yeah, there could be a few trust issues, somebody's in their head, has stress and anxiety, so I do feel someone here is going to initiate a conversation, and it's very grounded and practical. It's an energy of a sensible approach. Yeah, so I do see something is ending painfully. Uh, it's over. So something's happened here, but it's over, whatever this is. You know, this could be just a temporary energy. If you're in a relationship, there could be just a overwhelm, things moving too fast, someone's too busy. It has to do with the resources, being resourceful. Someone here is practical, sensible, resourceful. So can I say, it's the straw that broke the camel's back, but uh, this is about to end. Yeah, I don't know if there's trust issues. Yeah, someone's putting out more money than's coming in, but it also has to do with whether someone's going to reciprocate. So yeah, I think it has to do with resources, money, manifesting money. Uh, someone's feeling a little bit overwhelmed, maybe putting out too much money too fast. So yeah, yeah, we have someone being kind of critical and judgmental here, seven of wands. Someone's getting becoming defensive. Someone here's feeling a little bit defensive here. So I feel there's going to be a conversation. It's practical and it is sensible. I feel someone here is coming up with a solution. So let's have a look at this resourceful creator. Yeah, initiating a conversation. See, someone here is being defensive when someone tries to initiate. Now, it could be either or. But one of these people is very grounded. <laughs> yeah, see, it's in alignment, taking things to the next level, the path that you're on. Someone's looking at this path. So this is the path someone else was on. It was rinse and repeat. All they did is work. More money going out than's coming in. Uh, There's too much going on. It could be just work, like just rinse and repeat. It's like a repeat of something, the path that they were on. They don't want to repeat this. So... There's going to be some kind of conversation. Yeah, it's an energy of someone feeling insecure, feeling lack, lonely, left out in the cold. To me, it looks like money. Um, a lot of money being spent, more going out than is coming in. So, yeah, again, initiating a conversation. Now, this is a person who's 
Now, this isn't someone initiating. They're saying something, but they're not telling somebody here that they're... they're someone's having some trust issues about this path that you're either on together or to do with a reconciliation. Someone here, like I say, wants to straighten the record, straightening things up. So there was some, someone's feeling someone was being deceptive here. Now, it could go either way, but let's have a look at this autumn equinox. What's going to happen? Yeah, this is where everything starts to change. See, change for the better. I feel like there's just an energy of uh, communicating straight up, saying it like it is. And I feel that the masculine here, whoever they are, feels like things are moving too fast or they just got too much going on. Uh, rinse and repeat, all work, no play. Because it's about being a free spirit. It's about being play, having fun. So, like I say, there's somebody who's kind of in their head, but they want to communicate. This is someone who's not maybe telling the whole truth about something or they're keeping things to themselves, having trust issues, like guarded and defensive. Yeah. yeah. This is someone thinking of walking away, leaving something behind. But, you know, like I say, moving on. But I'm hoping this isn't what happens here. But to me, it looks more like coming around. <laughs> like I feel it's just an energy of someone who's feeling left out in the cold, feeling lack, lonely, where somebody is. I feel we got a couple here who are all work and no play. All work and no play. And feeling, you know, wanting to bring it up, but feeling a little defensive. It could be someone who's pushing someone away a little bit here too. Uh, this is often when someone starts going through that change, feeling overwhelmed, they start pushing the other person away. And then the other person starts becoming kind of defensive here. Yeah, it has to do with the timing, the wheel of fortune. So whatever's happening, I feel like I feel it's an energy of doing things together, cooperating, compromising. There's a need for some compromise. Okay. I feel we got two people who are compatible, but I just feel like things are either moving too fast or someone's just so busy, they feel overwhelmed with everything that's going on. But I see a new cycle in the fall where change change for the better maybe even you know i don't know what it is but someone feels there's just it's work it's it's probably you know uh, people who own homes and and properties and things it's just like i feel it's just a lot of busy energy yeah so someone's trying to figure something out here see they're trying to figure something out if someone's waiting for the coast to be clear someone's pushed somebody away or stood up someone's standing up to somebody here and someone's waiting for the all clear, waiting for things to kind of calm down here because they're trying to figure something out. Something needs clearing up. And it is going to create change because I see two people actually, see, it's about uncluttering. That's why I feel clearing things up, clearing things out, clearing the air. Okay, just getting things off your chest and then having a new perspective, which I feel feels positive. Yeah, stability. I, I feel it's just, like I say, a business, a house, a home clearing things up clutter i feel there's if you're in a relationship right now leo yeah like i say this is someone initiating a conversation calming down but uh, if you are the masculine maybe you're feeling a little guarded and defensive about this so yeah tell me about this queen uh, or not queen this initiate of pentacles why is this here yes it's a uh, somebody who's possibly an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Yeah, this is somebody standing up to someone here. But like I say, if someone keeps pushing someone away, ignoring them um, because they feel lack, they feel they're having a lot of negative thoughts about whether they trust the path that you're on together. So uh, we have someone initiating in a, in a very calm and practical way. So he's speaking up. Somebody who's just saying what they want. They're saying here. This is someone who does stand up for themselves, though. Yeah. See, it has to do with a fresh new start, an opportunity, an invitation. Um, someone, sh you know, cup run us over with emotions. I feel it's all going to be fine. Yeah. We have someone here. They're all work, no play. That's what it is. All work, no play. Rinse and repeat. If it isn't the job, a business, a house, a home, a property, things are cluttered. It's time to declutter. It's about clearing things up in your lives and making room for the both of you, making time for play. 
So that's all I feel this is really all about, but it's creating strife. Yeah, someone's just waiting, <laughs> waiting for fall, <laughs> waiting for autumn, clearing things out. See, clearing the air, it's all good. And I do think this is someone planning and preparing something here. What are they planning and preparing? They're definitely grounding themselves. So, yeah, see, this is someone who's working a lot. They're stable financially. This is someone who wants stability. So, now it is possible we have two people coming apart and two people coming together because something ended. There's definitely a painful period in someone's life that's over. So, someone stood up to someone here. As so I say, the feminine here, like Leo, it could be yourself or that could be an Aries. Could be Scorpio as well. Tell me about the judgment. Yeah, it's a, it has to do with a passion the beginning, a spark. But it's about doing it together, coming together, and having to cooperate and compromise. There's compromise that needs to be made. So I actually feel this is going to be okay because I see things coming back into alignment. <laughs> Change in course. Now, this could be single people, married people, um, but it, the Two of Wands is about choosing a new path, okay? It's about leaving things behind. So somebody here has been there. See, both people waiting. You're both waiting for something. Um, meanwhile, you're clearing things up, clearing things out, decluttering your house, your home. Yeah, someone here has got a whole new perspective how they see things, though. Someone who's stable. Yeah, you can see. Beautiful. See, waiting for that communication. It could be waiting for someone to commit. But it's about building the, that foundation. It's about doing things right, solid, reliable. So, yeah, we have someone who's being a little overwhelmed. If you are seeing, this is two people see, just seeing each other. Okay? And it's about choosing the one. Some of you maybe, you know, like I say, Somebody here, you know, maybe chose somebody and now they're second guessing themselves because things are moving so fast. And it's all work, no play. I don't know. I don't see moving or relocating. I just see two people choosing a different path. Yeah, but I, you know, I see work, jobs, money looks good. Um, it looks like there was more coming out that was coming in uh, for a bit there because of uh, something that's happening. I don't know whether what the heck's going on, but this four of coins tells me somebody is, you know, decluttering, getting rid of things they're holding on to, material things they no longer need. So this could be somebody, the feminine, giving a practical solution too. But see, and cooperating and compromising, working together as a team. So I think we've got two people going to team up. Now, if this is two people who live in their own homes, maybe you're just going to get together and help each other. Because I see, I see this turning out very positive. But it's both of you waiting for something here. You're both waiting. You know, something to do with change. Something to do with um, the seasons, the timing. A few months, it says. So, yeah. I'm thinking we're, we're dealing with summertime here, at least in the Northern Hemisphere, where it, if you want to get out and play and have fun, there's always so much going on. Um, so that's why I feel that someone is like, we just need to slow down a little bit here. Or someone's just saying, hey, slow down, calm down. <laughs> it's all right. It'll all work out. Yeah. So two of wands. Yeah. See, it's an energy of someone searching. See, I do see another opportunity. Like I say, if somebody slows down too much or if someone feels that they can't trust a situation, uh, with that seven of swords, it's here twice, but somebody wants to set the record straight. Somebody wants to know something. It's like, give it to me straight up. I, I feel it's the, the, the feminine here initiating a conversation to tell this person to, to relax, to calm down. It's all right to slow down. There's no need to hurry. But we have a person searching for something new. See, I feel some of you, it's somebody here um, coming in. Others of you, too. Like I say, you might be, if you're the feminine, you might be standing up to someone here. You may take another opportunity. You may have another opportunity here that's better. Somebody who's stable and reliable. Because it's almost like, I, I feel this person's stable. But like I feel, I feel like they get overwhelmed easily. Okay. Now, this could be two separate people by the looks of it here, but it's an energy of charting this new path. I feel some of you are just 
I don't know if two people are going their separate ways looking for something else, but there it is. And two people coming together. That's what it is. I see two people coming apart and some other people coming together, but there's any, things are moving too fast. Someone was feeling overwhelmed here. So their cup runneth over with emotion. I feel there's a lot of feelings and emotions, but I still see some of you taking another opportunity with someone who's stable financially. Okay. Someone who's solid, reliable, dependable. Someone who's there through thick and thin. See, it's about doing things together. I feel like you have someone here. Some of you have dealt with someone who didn't cooperate and compromise. And that's what it's all about. So there's a decision to do with choosing the one. But there's spark is here. The passion. Yeah, someone's making a, ch a choice here um, to do with two people. Someone here sees somebody as the one, somebody who can uh, do help with these things, to cooperate, compromise, to work together. This is two people who build each other up, not tear each other down. So I, I feel this is what's happened. Some of you got somebody here who was always uh, critical, judgmental, tearing the other person down, and I don't see this happening on this new path at all. But we have two people waiting for this to get going, waiting for news, communication with the three of wands, waiting for commitment. If somebody here won't commit, the other person will definitely be, you know, going down a new path. Yeah. So let's have a look at this three of wands. Yeah. Someone's manifesting here. They have all the tools, the information. So I do see someone decluttering, though. It could be a side message. But you see the ten of pentacles decluttering, clearing things out. These are two stable people who want the same thing. Th something needs to go. Things that someone's holding on to, material things. <laughs> yeah <laughs> you have the tools you have there's going to be communication yeah someone's in their head they're trying to figure something out they're definitely feeling more confident someone's feeling more confident about this so definitely someone's left something behind that wasn't emotionally fulfilling a situation that was lack lack of cooperation compromise lack of compatibility lack of compassion could be anything yeah, wow. Let's have a look at the Ten of Pentacles. This is someone who's feeling confident. Yeah, see? More money coming in, less going out, being more generous. See, someone here doesn't want to get rid of things. This is someone who holds on to material things. They need to get rid of them. So if this is two people moving in together and you're going through all this, <laughs> the feminine is definitely someone who's kind of grounding the other person because they're feeling overwhelmed. Now, it could go either way. Okay, it could go either way, the masculine or feminine here. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's coming up with an idea and they're going, aha. Yeah. You put a little bit of money out, more coming in. But I really feel someone needs to clear things out of their house and their home. They need to clear, to get rid of it because they're going down this path. They're, it's an energy of moving towards this new the sun, happier days ahead. Yeah, it's an energy of success. Someone's breaking free. They're planning and preparing, uh, hoping for the best. So someone's seeing a, someone from, I think someone's seeing someone from a whole new light here because they actually, I, I feel this is a person who's thinking about a relationship they're in where there was a lot of lack of cooperation, compromise, a lack of stability. Someone who is guarded, defensive, every time they talk, need to talk about something, the other person pushing the other person away, ignoring them. Okay, so I do feel it's an energy of initiating a conversation. Yeah, someone's going to initiate something here. You know, figuring things out, trying to fix, someone's trying to figure something out. They're trying to fix up their house, their home. You know, they're feeling overwhelmed. But it's, I, I feel it, there's going to be a conversation about this. And I think we've got help is on the way. Somebody is coming to help. See, asking for help. But somebody doesn't like asking for help, but help is on the way. So now if it's yourself and you're overwhelmed with things getting out of hand, I mean, we know what summertime can be. If you have a home and the lawns need mowing, the trees need trimming, and boy, I can relate to that because it's never ending. The growing season here, I plant a few things and it turns into a jungle in two weeks. <laughs> so I, I can kind of relate to this. <laughs> yeah, Maybe not quite this bad, but I'm telling you, because we have a person who's much more balanced. 
See, it's an energy of someone looking at this, planting the seed, planning for success, hoping for the best, feeling hopeful, seeing things in a whole new light. So, yeah, this is someone who's, who's feeling confident now. I think it's a figure, someone's trying to fix up their home. They're trying to fix things up. Uh, someone's also trying to figure someone out here. They're trying to figure something out. But help is on the way, so I like this. Yeah, it's teamwork, teaming up, something this person's never had. Yeah, see, someone's trying to figure out, too, aha, uh -huh, how someone feels. We have someone who's kind, compassionate, nurturing, caring. Someone cares. Help is on the way. Boy, that Queen of Cups energy is always the help on the way, isn't it? Someone who often sacrifices and gives. Mm-hmm. But I can see someone here, kind of this person looking at this too. Someone who's being a little stuck, maybe a little stubborn. And they're looking at, you know, maybe why a past relationship wasn't successful. Something's being learned here. Uh, because this is someone teaching someone how to be kind, compassionate, and to be calm. But the Queen of Cups is sacrificing, coming up with an idea. They're initiating something really, a practical solution. Let's just work together. Let's, let's do this together. Let's be a team. Let's get her done. <laughs> this could be painting something, a fresh coat of paint. It could be all kinds of things. It's help helping. Help is on the way. Now, if it is the Queen of Cups feeling overwhelmed, this person's going to reach out and be generous, especially if this is someone who has helped them. So it's all about the helping hand. I'm loving this. Yeah, I see change and change for the better. But I do see somebody here who's left somebody, walked away from someone because of that, because they weren't supportive. So a little bit of neglect. And this is why someone didn't have a relationship that was successful in the past. So there's a lot of learning going on. All this stuff. This is overwhelming. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Tell me about this King of Swords, this person who's doing all this thinking. Yeah, they're taking control. They feel confident. Yeah, this is someone with a strong mind, strong will, willpower. And now they have a change of perspective. You want to know why? Because this is someone who builds somebody up. They make them feel good about a situation that's overwhelming, that if we do this together, we can conquer this. Willpower, whole change of perspective. Yeah, I'm going to pull out a couple cards here. Take them as they resonate. What do you need to know about this person? I know that I crossed the line. Yeah, someone crossed the line. They pushed someone away or they... Uh, we're very critical and judgmental. Now, this is often energy where somebody pro projects that something that happened in a past relationship on the other person because they got overwhelmed, right? So somebody crossed the line by pushing someone away or treating them like they weren't good enough or just ignoring them, uh, withdrawing emotional um, uh, feelings here. So... But yeah, someone knows they cross the line. So it doesn't have to be massive. Don't take the card exactly as it is. But somebody, like I say, somebody pushed a little bit here. They pushed somebody away a little bit here because things are moving too fast or they're just overwhelmed. Yeah. Let's have another card here for this. Let's have a look at this King of Wands because... See, someone's releasing things that no longer serve. See, they're letting go of all this energy. It didn't serve them, you see. And they got, I, I feel it's just a person who got all, all up in their head. What does this King of Wands want? Yeah, somebody who came closer than anyone. So some of you have ended a situation with someone. And this is how they feel. But I do feel like you're moving in another direction. I feel like you waited. But I see change in the fall. Somebody is coming, either coming back around or some of you are, have another opportunity. To me, it looks like an opportunity with someone who's more cooperative. Yeah. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, we will be together again. So there is a, re a reconciliation on the table for some. Okay. No, see, this is someone looking at this. They learned something here. They learned something, but see, a situation didn't serve them. They need to release. They need to let go of all this 
Uh, someone here that has trust issues, and that's what it is. That this is someone who wants another. You know, this is someone who looks everywhere. So you know, this is someone searching. Yeah, searching for someone, looking for them. Where are you? They could even be driving around looking for you. Uh, some of you, yeah, there's definitely a few. You know, yeah, this is someone who's so attracted. So attracted to, uh, to you. Wow. Someone who loves unconditionally. See, a whole change of perspective. Why? Because... Um, the feminine is going to offer offer a practical solution. Let's just team up. Let's work together. Okay? This is about building a dream. But this is about the stars aligning. I feel the time wasn't right. Somebody was dealing with something. And it's, I, like I say, work, home, a business, uh, a relationship that just ended. And this person didn't let you get close. Okay? But you can see two people waiting. But now start someone here is thinking it's time to look elsewhere because they've been waiting. Well, <laughs> that's when this person decides to come in. And it doesn't mean that, like I say, I do see there's been some kind of pause here. But there's somebody here determined to, uh, yeah, this is someone who doesn't want someone to get away. Now they're seeing things from a different perspective because they're not overwhelmed. They're not feeling so much pressure. This is somebody under a lot of pressure. Now, like I say, it's either a relationship that ended, uh, something to do with the timing. But this is someone who loves someone unconditionally. And that's someone also showing unconditional love for somebody regardless. So, but there's a lot of attraction here. A lot of attraction, yeah. Someone here is definitely about to get something they want. They're gonna get that cup filled. See, this is someone who's never really got what they wanted from a relationship. See, they never had support. They never had someone who was there for them. Um, instead of being built up, with somebody who builds someone up with a very positive energy, it's someone who tore them down. And that's what I feel this changes. So this is actually a really nice reading. Doesn't mean um, that somebody's literally walking away. This is often sometimes when a person gets upset, they push the other person away, or there's an argument or something happens here. Someone's feeling left out in the cold. Uh, it's often, and, and I see this sometimes, is taking a walk, especially for married couples, people in relationships. Take a walk, walk it off. Okay, because that's what I feel this this eight of cups is often here, especially with this. But it's like two people. I, I definitely feel like we've got I mean, the stars are aligning. So it's something to do where things weren't in alignment here because of someone's uh, being overwhelmed. Yeah, see, it wasn't in alignment. So someone pushed either pushed you away or vice versa. But look at this. See, releasing all these things that no longer serve. This is someone's hopes and dreams. It's everything they could ever want. See, now things are lining up and the timing is right. So very, very nice energy. I, I see Aries and I see Leo here. Um, I do see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, some strong Libra and Aquarius energy. Some sad, just some sad energy here too. So it'll be different people you're dealing with, but their energies. Someone's about to get their cup filled. They're going to feel happy and content, emotionally filled. This is someone who doesn't want someone to get away. So like I say, it's like, it could be where you're seeing each other and you're almost coming apart. But, you know, yeah. But I, some of you have, and I do feel someone is looking for you and want to know where you are, what you're up to. And uh, they're going to reach out in some way, maybe through other people. I don't know. Tell me about the world and we'll wrap it up. Crazy energy. Something to do with a couple of months. Yeah, so a situation has ended. Okay, there's change for the better. Something is over. Yeah, this is internal too. This is internal. Yeah. So it does look like some of you are coming apart from someone and, and coming together possibly with another person. And that's what I kind of feel. 
has, has happened here. But I feel for those of you who are in relationships, you're already in commit in relationships. This is where help is on the way, where you build each other up and not tear each other down. But it's also this aha moment that this person's having for those of you who are uh, have gone your separate ways because of the lack of cooperation and compromise. Someone just feels you're not compatible, but it's because they're in this negative space. They're thinking negative. They start a relationship and they start looking at what they've been through before and they kind of bring that energy in, but it is going to be released. Yeah, taking lessons. See, a lot of lessons been learned, avoiding a disaster. So I do see travel. Maybe I feel someone's going to reach out here. Someone's leaving baggage behind, making peace with the past. That's another thing. When someone comes into a relationship and they're still thinking negative thoughts about the past relationship and they start something and things start moving fast and they start getting into their head about it. But whoever this is has learned a lot. They've learned a lot. Yep, they're definitely determined. They're making peace with the past. Timing is right. It has to work in both people's favor. They're going to reach out. They're coming in to tell you a truth. Yeah. And I feel the truth is, is likely something they didn't tell you is that they had just ended something. Yeah. This is, yeah, see, a person who was guarded, defensive. So, mm-hmm. Interesting. So you see, it's showing. So this is an energy of someone who just needs to let let your guard down, feminines, okay? Let this person at least come in and communicate and tell you the truth. But I'm going to tell you there's things that they actually like about you that you do stand up for yourself, even to them. <laughs> because there's also kindness and compassion here. So you can see. But I do think helps on the way. Those of you who are overwhelmed, uh, too much going on, just helping each other out. So there's definitely several scenarios crazy read yeah i wish you guys the best here but i like i say if something has ended someone can let their guard down now because they are determined and it's going to go in both people's favor so it's very nice yeah there's going to be a lot of talk communication this is somebody who's feeling rejuvenated they're coming in fast and they're ready to take this to the next level yeah they're going to show you that they're invested they're also learning to be patient they're grounding themselves i feel so patience are required, okay? <laughs> yeah, relationships can be tough. Relationships can be tough, uh, especially if you start one before you're completely healed from another situation that may have been really overwhelming. I feel somebody worked, rinsed and repeat worked, and then came home and did the work. And not just a feminine, I'm seeing a masculine also has put been through this. So I wouldn't be surprised if you both have the same story you've both been through the same thing so someone here has been looking for the one for a long time and that's what i feel so yeah wish you the best take care and we'll see you soon